What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexia and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time to jump back into the weird and wonderful world of Bee Swarm Simulator fan-made games because today I think I've got something really, really cool to show you guys. So, right, we started the series again uh, a couple of days ago on the channel. It's been something that we've done for a little while now. I think there's like 14 or 15 different episodes where we jump into all of these fan-made Bee Swarm games. And uh, yeah, it's always been a really, really, really fun series to make. Um, and I saw this one the last time I was looking in last episode, and it looked so good and so detailed that I thought it pretty much had to have uh, a video all to itself. It is such a cool one, and I think you guys are gonna love it. The only problem is, Roblox have completely messed up their search engines. So I'm gonna have to go and find it, hang on. Okay, so I, I can't find it in the list, so annoying. Um, but yeah, it's fortunately in my recently played, so this is what the icon for the game looks like. And if we click on this bad boy here, boom, it is called Custom Bee Swarm Simulator Showcase, and this is by, I think, Gentil Matteo. Uh, and it is so, so cool. So you guys ready to jump in? Let's do this. Whoa. And there's only been 1,000 people who have visited this. This is like a secret bee swarm world. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Custom bee swarm simulator showcase. And there's some information here about the latest update, which seems like it was done in April. So relatively recently updated. And this thing looks absolutely incredible. So if I do a little bit of a zoom out here which is kind of totally not working. Dude, look at the size of this place. There seems to be all these custom rooms and zones and mobs and everything. And I thought, you know, let's just do this properly. Let's go and check out all of these amazing things. So first thing that I'm spotting here is look at this. It actually has working animations for special abilities. So this is a freeze ability and it actually drops like a blob on the floor and freezes the flowers in the field. And then apparently you've also got a cup of tea. I approve of this. I approve of this ability. Whoa. <laughs> the flowers get sucked into the tea? What? I mean, already that's super impressive. To have like animated abilities working in a game like this. So, so cool. Um, so it seems like there's a few custom bees, but I'm most excited about getting up to the top there and seeing all of these like cool custom zones. But let's go and check out these bees. Oh, oh yeah, look at this. So, oh, cool. So we've actually got pop-ups for everything, I think, uh, and it will explain everything to do with the actual bees. Um, so the first one we've here, he's got the sad bee. Aw, and he does rain clouds. <laughs> Basically like living in the UK right now. <laughs> the sun has disappeared, summer's over. Dude, look at these. Wow, okay, is this like an ice cream bee? Oh my goodness. <laughs> the modeling is actually really, really nice. Wow. And then over here, oh look, the coffee bee. Ah, so I think this is the coffee ability, which we just saw, and I'm guessing it actually works uh, towards this bee. Ooh, what are these things? What is that? This is an onion bee, <laughs> and its ability is onion gas. The closest enemy attacking the player stops moving for three seconds. It uses the power of onions to freeze enemies in place. And then over here, we've got the emerald bee, which I guess is like the colorless version of the crimson and the cobalt. I think that's a really cool idea. Nice. Right, so we've got some teleporters here that will take us to these areas. What is this? Click to donate. Uh, okay. <laughs> there you go. And up here, we have a custom shop with bag belts. Ah, all right. So these are like some special ones. So what have we got? We've got the crimson belt. Uh, this belt was designed by the crimson bee for beekeepers. Oh, <laughs> speaking of beekeepers... Uh, all right, we've got the photon belt here as well, a yellow one, and we've got a crimson belt. Uh, yeah, just very quickly, I've had like a bunch of questions about beekeepers. Um, so from what it seems like a couple of days ago, beekeepers was taken down on Roblox uh, because of like issues with copyright and stuff. Uh, and I did mention like in my first beekeepers video, I said, you know, this could be a controversial game and turns out I was right. Um, but yeah, nothing to do with me. It's kind of sad that it's gone. But the good news is, is that I believe the devs of beekeepers are currently working on rebuilding the game from scratch and making the game different enough to not have an issue with sort of the legal side of things. Uh, so that's really, really good news. For certain, we will be jumping back into Beekeepers when the game gets re-uploaded and added. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with it. I've seen a few bits and pieces already, and I think the changes look really cool. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated about Beekeepers. Whoa! Dude! 
dude, what is that? <laughs> See, I just noticed. So I've got the petal wand, obviously. So that's, you know, from the main game. But if you click on number two, you get this crazy thing. This is the gummy staff. Wow. Okay, no, so I think I mentioned this a while ago. I was like, you know, we've got the gummy mask and we've got the gummy boots. But we've never had like a gummy canister. We've never had like a gummy collector. Um, and I guess this is uh, the developer's interpretation of it. It looks cool, man. Okay, so moving through into the next zone here, I feel like all of the madness is going to happen up there. But we have a custom, uh, well, fest well, festive beans, um, regular. Oh, let's have a look. What have we got here? Oh, oh, there's beans for all the different types. No way. So I'm guessing... Yeah, like the, the, the gold beans, uh, the diamond beans, and this must be like a supreme. Mythical, sorry. Um, oh, you can buy them for 2,000 tickets. Dude, what is this? The gummy magic bean. All right, the festive bean. And <laughs> the royal jelly magic bean. And this must be a debug, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, those are cool. Do you guys know the struggles that I have had trying to make Beast Swarm Simulator thumbnails and not having a proper model of the festive sprout? <laughs> They're really hard to capture if you actually do them in game. My prayers have been answered. Look at this screenshot. Bang. Maybe we'll use it in a thumbnail one day. Oh, that's good news. Oh, hello. Okay, so moving up into this direction here, we've got these giant pears. <laughs> <laughs> the pear field and we've got this like crazy cool like glowing beam of light that's coming over this sprout so i'm not too sure why but it looks very very cool the pears look really realistic that's so weird i like pears oh my goodness it's potatoes it's the potato werewolf what is this actually a potato <laughs> it's the potato patch <laughs> the potato patch is located in front of the coffee shop oh there's a custom coffee shop no way! Oh my goodness, okay. Um, so we've got like a werewolf just chilling here. <gasps> it's a baby potato! Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna name him Steven. Wow, alright. So these must be like these items. So I guess this is sort of playing off the ideas of like the super smoothies and you know, that kind of stuff. So custom crafting. A cup of coffee is 10 uh, royal jellies and 50 coffee beans. This must be like a coffee beaker. So this must be like a better version. Oh, yeah, this gives you instant conversion. And then this is like a Sunday. Oh, a royal coffee, <laughs> which gives you more instant conversion and some various other boosts. Um, so there's a couple of different ways that we can go. Whoa! What? <laughs> what is this? Dude, are you kidding? This is cool. What is this place? I don't know. Uh, let's go and take a look. So this is some kind of... Oh! So this must have been based off, you know, all the robo bears and stuff like that. So they've taken the idea of the robotics and they've made this like crazy clockwork cavern. The clockwork cavern. That's what it should be called. That is so cool. I love it. All right. So this is some kind of like crazy cog collector, I guess, or something. What just happened? Uh, I just, I, I walked through this on the outside, literally next to that clockwork area, and I got teleported to this, like, incredible underground area. Oh, mini scorpions, ladybugs. So they seem to be, like, enchanted in this cave. What? <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, the one thing that I've always thought would be really cool with these swarm is to have, like, something underground, like a cave system or whatever, because, you know, you've got all of the bugs in the game. Um, but, you know, we've never had, like, an underground area. You know, some bugs live underground, stuff like that. So to have that would actually be really cool. And maybe this would be a good way of doing it. So yeah, what is this one called? Uh, the Red Crystal Field. Dude, I like it. All right, can we... It goes deeper? Whoa, look, there's like an entire area underground. What? The Blue Crystal Field with this like crazy cool crystal rhino beetle. There's a man here serving coffee. Coffee is a big theme of this map, I think. Okay, so I guess it's like an event there or maybe just like a shop or something. And then if we go up here, there's even more. There's like a yellow crystal field and a green crystal field with like this weird glowing mantis. Dude. Okay, what have we got here? We've got like, oh, the Wheel of Luck. The Wheel of Luck is a wheel you can spin every day and you can get all kinds of uh, prizes that are displayed on the wheel. So you can also spin it in exchange for 50 tickets. So it's kind of like uh, 
Lucky Dip style thing? Huh. Quite like that idea, actually. That's pretty cool. 50 tickets is expensive, but at the same time, it's still a pretty cool idea. Oh, look, it's the gummy shop. Yes! Dude! Oh, it's... <laughs> it's like a gummy-themed NPC bear. <laughs> He's quite sweet. All right, so I think the question marks are items that haven't been finished just yet. But of course, we've got like a gummy bag belt here. We've got the gummy collector, which we've got on our hand. And we've also got the gummy sprinklers, which drop goo. Dude, it's like a little model. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Huh. I kind of want a gummy sprinkler in the main game. I think it would be like so OP. But at the same time, doesn't it look cool? Man. All right. We've still got like a bunch more stuff to do. So this is like a gumdrop dispenser. Um, we've got up here <laughs> some muffins. Oh, I've just realized it's the muffin mantis. <laughs> ah, okay. So yeah, this is the cave that I went into to go underground. So we're over the top now crossing into this new area. There seems to be something crazy cool over there. But we've got a couple more custom fields. So we've got an apple field here of red and green apples. We've got a banana field uh, just chilling over here. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, what is these? What are these even? Crafts. The bronze treat amulet. The bronze treat amulet generator requires the user to have made at least 150 craft and cost 50 million honey. Each amulet allows less time to make an item. <gasps> Amulets that reduce your crafting time? I like that. Okay, so the more crafts you make, the better the amulet you unlock. And then the more crafts you make, the quicker you can craft. Huh. That's cool. Oh, I saw this one in the thumbnail. So this is like a custom kitchen. <laughs> Look, <laughs> it's like an actual uh, like kitchen. Dude, are you kidding? How cool is this? So these must be like special items. Oh, each one of them actually gives us a description. So this one is a strawberry pie. Uh, really good when you want to draw red, uh, uh, do red fields. This is a blueberry pie. Uh, and this one I'm guessing is, oh, pineapple pie. <laughs> So these must be like uh, special crafting menus, but only in the cook's blender. So there's a brand new blender that you use just to do these items. This is a sugar cube. It's an ingredient. And we've got some special treat. Ah, okay. Now here's the cook's blender outside. All right. So special crafting items in these blenders only using that. Very cool. What's up here? Oh, is that a secret? I think it might be a secret. What is this? No! Go back. Click me for more information. After the King Rhino Beetle, now is the Queen Ladybug. Oh, so this is like a, a King Beetle slash Queen Bug type thing. <laughs> all right. So it gives us a big list of all the things that we could get from it. It looks pretty cool, man. This is such a cool map. Okay, rolling up. I think we are getting somewhere close to the final zone here in this place. This is getting like, oh no, there's even more. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, look at this. The sparkly snail in the field of watermelons. No description, sorry. Ah, he's a very fancy boy. I like him. Oh, look at this. So yeah, it actually shows you what you get as rewards. Um, so it seems like there's a brand new item in here uh, called, well, what are those? Like stars in a jar? Uh, I don't know what those are. But you get, like, a bunch of cool stuff from them, I guess, as, like, an amulet. Huh. Okay. And then, look at this. We've got some extra custom masks. Oh, there they are. Okay, I don't know what that is. Whatever that is, that looks cool. Um, But we've got some random things. Oh, this is, like, a, a festive hat. Yeah, festive mask. This is a basic bee mask. And then this is the vicious bee mask as well. All right. So rolling up to the top here, I think we've only got, oh, that looks cool up there, whatever that is. So yeah, new zone here, which is available soon. So unfortunately this hasn't been updated just yet, but we've got some carrots. <laughs> they look really cool. They're really bendy carrots. <laughs> and we got some gumdrops there as well. So this is definitely the carrot patch. Okay. The carrot patch. Very cool. All right. So I think we've got one more area. Are these radishes? I think they are. Whoa. Fields with traps in? No way. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Huh. All right. And then <laughs> there's this really sparkly star. Of course, it's... Whoa! <laughs> what? This is so cool. What is this place? Let me read it. Hang on. 
The starry bag. Oh, okay, so this is the starry bag. Wow, that looks cool. That would look amazing on the back of a character with all, like, the little lights around it. Oh. Okay, what is this? The starry belt? The star belt? Dude. How cool is that? Like, genuinely, how bling would your character look with, like, these two things on? That's so cool. Oh, and there's something up here. Okay, if we hardcore parkour the stars... Oh, okay, so it's one of these dispensers for that kind of cool, like, starry jar thing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Dude, this is so cool. I love this map. Very, very well made. Oh. Oh, I'm out the map. Oh, can I get out the... Hang on. Can I... Maybe I can see if there's any more secrets. Hang on. Nope. I'm never going to get up there again. <laughs> I think I blew my one chance to get on top of the map. <laughs> I feel like there's a way of doing it, but I'm not too sure. What happens if you fall in here? Oh, you can't. Huh. Oh, is there a secret in the middle? No. Well, there you go. I feel like there's probably a few more secrets in this map that I haven't found. But this is such a cool uh, fan-made recreation i guess like a fan made map so many really nice ideas really well made really well designed yeah very very impressed great job so unfortunately i think that is gonna be about it for this episode here today i really hope you guys enjoyed this one i really love doing these fan made videos um and yeah if you want to see some more please let me know please put me in that like button uh leave me a message in the comments let me know and uh, yeah we'll kind of do some more so thank you very much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did Please remember to put me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya.